Yo guys, let's take a look at how to do emulation on a Chromebook using RetroArch. So to do this, you'll need to watch my previous video on installing Flatpak on a Chromebook. We're going to use Flatpak to install RetroArch. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to go to Flathub and download and install RetroArch. What you can do is copy and paste the terminal commands inside of your Linux terminal to install RetroArch. So it's a sudo flatpak install retroarch. Then copy and paste the Linux terminal commands to run retroarch. And that's pretty much it. From this point, you can use RetroArch like you would on any other system. So in my case right now, I'm gonna go and load a PlayStation 1 core. So I can go into the settings, go to load core and download a core. And I can download a core for the PlayStation 1. And finally, I can go to my directory and make sure that I have all necessary files. So that includes my PlayStation BIOS file, the ROM that I wanna play, um, and just making sure that they're all linked within RetroArch. And finally, I can go and launch the game. And again, this is going to be dependent on the hardware of your Chromebook. But for me, on my Acer Spin 713, it works pretty well. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.